on Theme Time Radio Hour, we'll talk about locks and keys. If you'd like to be a locksmith, there's no formal training procedure, and you don't need any certification. You can train by being an apprentice, take coursework or home study, and most training programs are under six months. If you do, among the things you'll learn is how to deal with cylinder locks, pin and tumbler locks, combination locks and permutation locks, electronic locks and ignition locks, Mortise locks and padlocks, bicycle locks and child safety locks, magnetic locks, warded locks and key card locks, and in the northeastern states, bagels and locks. There's another kind of lock people wear on their heads, known as a dreadlock. A dreadlock is probably best associated with Jamaica right now. That wasn't always the case. They've been around forever. The ancient Egyptians wore them, and so did the Asian emperors of history. Among the people who have worn them were Germanic tribes. They say that Samson wore them, and then John the Baptist. King Tut had dreadlocks. You don't believe me? Go to the museum. They're still there today. You can read about dreadlocks in the Bible. You might be interested in making dreadlocks in the last years that come in or the twisting method. Personally, I prefer the twist and rip method. Here's what you do. You're going to need some dread wax, some residue-free shampoo, and some rubber bands. you got to section your hair into one inch by one inch pieces. You can use rubber bands to hold the sections while you work on the rest of your hair. When you're washing your hair, rub your head in clockwise motion. Once you get out of the shower and your hair is dry, pull your hair apart in the sections where the rubber bands are. After you've pulled apart the sections, take a little bit of wax, apply it to each dread, and rose it in your palm. The more you twist it back and forth, the faster the dreads will form and lock up. You're looking good. Are you the key master? Not that I know of. <laughs> 